Hey, what's going on, guys? Ara here, and welcome back to my F1 2018 mod career mode here with Fernando Alonso and his McLaren Renault here for round number five at the Spanish Grand Prix. If you did miss round number four at the Azerbaijan one uploaded just over a week ago, then be sure to go check that video out before you see this one there. It will be in the official playlist for, for this series anyway as well. And be sure to turn on the notifications with the bell on my channel, guys. YouTube's been really, really iffy lately with uh, just getting general videos in sub boxes and sub feeds and publishing the videos as of late, so be sure to hit the bell if you never want to miss a video, especially this series as well on the weekends. If you do not know, every single weekend there should be an episode of this. But here, round number five then, the Spanish Grand Prix, our home Grand Prix technically because we're playing as Fernando Alonso. So hopefully we can do a good job here around Catalonia. Should be a good one against the AI generally. It performed quite well around here. Tire wear is going to be a tricky one in terms of who goes for what tire compound. Obviously, soft, medium and hards. We could try a one stop. It looks to be usually a two stop and then there might be others trying a very aggressive three stop. I the way that we'll get into that and see how that goes but firstly let's go to the starting grid and see how we shape up all right, so here's the starting grid for the 2018 Spanish Grand Prix, round number five of this season, and pole position goes to Lewis Hamilton this time round after taking a break from being on pole for the first three rounds at round number four at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel, that pole sitter, is not even on the first row because his teammate Kimi Raikkonen there is in second place. Sebastian Vettel, last time's pole sitter, finds himself in third alongside the Mercedes teammate Valtteri Bottas there in fourth place. The third row is all Red Bull. Daniel Ricciardo once again getting the better of his team at Max Verstappen. Ricciardo looking to once again just take that momentum through and Red Bull as a whole hoping to take the fight finally to Ferrari and Mercedes this time around with a few upgrades here at Catalonia. P7 is Nico Hulkmer, consistent as ever just like in real life. P7 there, Romain Grosjean in 8th place. ninth place ourselves as Fernando Alonso. They're good stuff for us and kind of where you would expect hopefully McLaren to be around number 5 at the Spanish Grand Prix and let's hope we can put on good show from here. Kevin Magnussen in P10 then to round out the top 10. P11, Brendan Hartley does a great job to outqualify his teammate Pierre Gasly in 11th place. My teammate Sol Van Dorn in 12th there. Pierre Gasly then behind in 13th. He'll be disappointed with that. And Carlos Sainz once again just unable to get comfortable with that Renault and a big delta time compared to his teammate Anika Hulkenberg. He's in P14. The next row is all Force India. Sergio Perez ahead of Espen Ock on there. The Force India guys, a little bit of no man's land, but they could try a different strategy as they have done so many times before at the Spanish Grand Prix. Then it's Charles Leclerc in P17 and then surprisingly it's Sergei Sorokin actually doing a great job the Russian in the Williams to outqualify Marcus Ericsson then and try and drag that Williams car up and the last row of the grid then is Marcus Ericsson and Lance Stroll to round that P20. Let's get into the Spanish Grand Prix. So with us starting P9 then inside the top 10, we have to start on the soft tyres. So that limits what we can do completely on the strategy. You can't really play around with it too much. In theory, we could pull off a one-stop maybe if I stretch the soft tyres long enough and then we're onto hards, but I don't think that's going to honestly have the pace for us and not what we're going to need. So we're going to just stick with the default for now. Two sets of mediums to go on to after this initial first set, but no rain to come. So just going to put up the fuel and try and be a bit more aggressive with the rich mix and let's get straight into this there. So we now go into the five red lights for this Spanish Grand Prix round number five of this 2018 Formula 1 season. The lights are out and we're underway. It's a great start there for us compared to Roman Grosjean there. Up into P8. Could we even get P7 straight away as we've got uh, Lika Hulkenberg. Very slow. Verstappen though holds us up as we go towards turn one. We're kind of boxed in here and we have to break a little bit early on purpose. Just want to not knock off a bit my front wing there. We'll try and get around the outside of Hulkenberg as Hamilton is uh, from off pole position. is down to P4. He's had a shocker of a start Hamilton has and it looks like to be Kimi Raikkonen in the lead of the Spanish Grand Prix then from Sebastian Vettel, Valtteri Bottas and Daniel Ricciardo there as we swing through the long right hand uh, ahead of Hulkenberg comfortably in there in P7 I think that is and we're going to try and chase after the Dutchman if we can. So all round good start for us then. Initial getaway was great and then into turn one had to be pinched a little bit by Brendan Hartley and eventually made a great move into uh, what was turn three on the inside of Hulkenberg as now we can see moving on towards the end of the lap I think we've got Ferrari side by side with a Merck. Yes it's Vettel v Bottas there into sector three so interesting so far this season uh, almost unlike real life in a way from the Chinese Grand Prix and uh, Bahrain. Bottas at the moment leading the charge from Mercedes. He's down the inside and looks like he's just about got up into uh, into P2. It's a drag race between him and Sebastian Vettel. But at the moment, Hamilton susceptible to the Dutchman Max Verstappen as we're going to try and alter game. But look at that. We've got four cars up ahead so, so close. And we're about to make it five. We can get in the mix here as we go into turn one now. Vettel with a lock up into turn two. And Ricardo around his outside. Fantastic stuff there for the former Red Bull teammate. And speaking of Red Bull, 
we're going to go around the outside of Verstappen now into turn three. It's close. Trying to pull off the wily old fox move that Alonso's made so many times in the past there in that corner. But no, look at that. Verstappen, fantastic to be fair to him. He's gone down the inside of Hamilton as I tried to overtake him. So looks like he's trying to put a buffer between us two. He locks up in the next corner. I send down the inside of Hamilton. And Hamilton clearly struggling with issues in that car. And that Mercedes car, maybe just not, you know, uh, amazing on its soft tyres. Maybe just not liking these softs. And Hamilton's probably going to be on the radio pretty damn soon to maybe wanting to go on the mediums uh, sooner rather than later. But myself and Verstappen both is that. Uh, dispatch him very quickly but now look at this Ricardo again fighting Vettel so fair play to Vettel defended well then in the end to keep P3 but for, for how long really because Ricardo is looking very punchy indeed as we move on towards lap three then Vettel has been overtaken by Ricardo and now he's got the second Red Bull under pressure now Verstappen on the outside Vettel on the inside there can Max make it around the outside Vettel bit of contact there so not just real life but also in the video game as well Verstappen and Vettel go hammer and tong and there's some more contact there so it's going to get very frosty on the radio I should suspect but this entirety of sector three Sebastian Vettel Max Verstappen nothing in it there into the second last corner Max over the curbing Vettel with a great drive and he finally gets ahead of the Dutchman but we're now going to try it around the outside but he's not having any of it we're going to both have DRS here and uh, Verstappen's got the legs there on Vettel it's going to be three wide as we move to the left it's close on the grass it's four wide actually because of Hamilton look at that on the right hand side he's tried to make a triple overtake Hamilton has he's not going to make it quite work because Verstappen now is back up into what is going to be. I've even lost count of what these positions are. I think that's P4 as now we go hammer and tong with Hamilton and Hamilton made contact with us and a bit of damage to his uh, barge board end plate there and we're now back down the inside making a switch back move from the left to the right hand of the circuit there. It's all kicking off and Hamilton is still there. What a fight this has been since the end of lap three onto the heart of lap four and eventually Hamilton is going to force us out quite aggressively and we're going to have to settle down for P6 and I can catch my breath. My God, what fighting that was between Vettel and Verstappen firstly and then four wide that was because I didn't quite see it there but lately at uh, the last minute Hamilton tried to make a triple overtake down that back straight let's have a look at the replay because it deserves it for sure because you can't get a quite good enough view on board from ourselves so here we go so obviously these two fighting ahead Verstappen and Vettel Vettel gets a great drive off the final corner but what I couldn't see was uh, initially Hamilton how close he was actually in that final corner so there he is on the left he swoops through gets double slip stream off not only me but then Verstappen and look at that what a sight McLaren on the right there Ferrari Red Bull and Mercedes for just a few moments in, in the middle of that straight four wide great great stuff there and even so, even so great that I took a photo of it in the replay camera system actually tweeted it out in, uh, on Instagram as well a little bit earlier in the week you might have seen that Instagram post there link up above there to my username but that was a fantastic photo there and, and a moment really as a whole in this Grand Prix to see four different manufacturers battling so hard and now on lap five Valtteri Bottas out of the Spanish Grand Prix so things had calmed down actually I'm in P5 now and uh, things have calmed in, in this sea of uh, Catalonia no uh, rocky waves at the moment as uh, we're uh, just trying to chase after Hamilton but after initially being so slow Hamilton's picked up the pace and actually we're looking behind us rather than ahead uh, to Sebastian Vettel but his teammate Bottas out of the Spanish Grand Prix so, so for the first time this season Bottas getting some bad luck and Hamilton will finally beat his teammate uh, with quite a considerable amount of points here you would say now we go toe to toe with Sebastian here so many fights we've had with Vettel's AI over the years on the F1 game and now in 2018 is no different we're side by side still for that entire first section and into the end of sector one we just nip ahead aggressively back on the racing line shimmy and shake on the steering wheel there as we try to control the car go a little bit wide there at the moment as my tyres are going off a little bit but I'm also playing around with Vettel a little bit trying to make sure we stay ahead because of course McLaren v Ferrari on paper we do not have the pace but at the moment Vettel finding it hard obviously with some dirty air and just generally uh, playing hard to get into the break zones there uh, as we try and defend as hard as we can because it would be a great position to be in if we can hold track position again we swoop on the outside at turn one there Vettel does not have the momentum to make the pass and we're going to stay in P5 so now it's a case of uh, taking the tyres as long as we can uh, we're on to lap 8 now and up ahead we've got a few people in the pits I think Hamilton that is on the right hand side yeah he's into the pit lane there so off soft tyres I wonder what he's going to go on to um, because as I said the two stop was on soft to two medium tyres but you never know around Catalonia the AI definitely do actually quite kind of nicely do uh, try to do different strategies uh, we've seen so many times before on the on, on these games that uh, the Force Indies try a one stop maybe the, the Mercedes could try a more aggressive strategy maybe the Red Bulls like real life at uh, China could try a very aggressive strategy we'll see but now on to lap 9 
We're into the pits. We're definitely going on to a set of medium tyres. And now we'll try and see how long we can go, really. Because I've gone to lap 9. Probably two laps longer than the game thought I would do. So if we stretch the mediums long enough, we could actually go on to a second set of soft tyres instead of uh, a set of mediums at the end of this Grand Prix. So that could be great for us on lower fuel, you know, pushing as hard as we can right at the end of this Grand Prix. We'll see. We'll see. But as we come out of the pit lane, then, we're behind Vettel. You saw there his flash of red uh, on the bottom left of your screen. And there is also the Renault and then Toro Rosso ahead of us. So we have lost track position and a lot of ground, actually, to Vettel time-wise. But I don't think we should be too worried because Vettel, I think, is on another set of soft tyres. So although Vettel's got a great undercut, looks like Vettel is trying a three-stop after being pushed out and a bad few mistakes in the first stint there uh, to, compared to his teammate in, right, in Kimi Raikkonen, who's out, out, out at the moment in the lead of the Grand Prix. Looks like Vettel's camp is trying a, a different contra strategy, a more aggressive strategy to try and get him back into this Grand Prix. Meanwhile, though, we're catching up to Brendan Hartley there in the Toro Rosso. And up ahead, it's bad news for Nico Hülkenberg. So, so consistent uh, in real life in this uh, mod so far. Both Renaults have had such bad luck in Hülkenberg out of this Grand Prix. And, and both Renault boys, as I mentioned there, yeah, such bad luck in, in his mod season so far compared to real life where Renault and Hulkenberg especially being so consistent both of them not really scoring at all I don't think they've scored a point actually uh, I should say so uh, yeah really really bad luck and that's you know not due down to the modding because you know Hulkenberg has been getting uh, consistent P7s P6s in qualifying so far in the first five episodes but just in the race it's just the rub of the green the AI cars just seem to be getting into bad strategies or bad dirty air or in the case of Hulkenberg right now bad luck going out of the Grand Prix and I can't really do too much about that uh, so you know, just tough luck for them in the mod career season. Now we can see uh, Hartley, strangely, is uh, keeping me at bay for now. But we make an overtake on the Alfa Romeo and then go around the outside of him. So a double overtake there. Really nice stuff there. Fernando Alonso-esque, really, to make the pass when Hartley wasn't expecting it. And uh, we finally passed uh, the Kiwi there in the Toro Rosso car. Took uh, two more laps than I wanted it to. I thought we could have got past him straight away, but the Honda engine wasn't too bad. Uh, especially in the corners there, obviously, with some downforce to help the Toro Rosso team. But now onto that 15 now, nearly about halfway through this Grand Prix. Up into P7 is that was, I think, for now, I think that was uh, Esman Ocon, uh, the Force India on hard tyres. So again, like I mentioned, I think the Force Indies are trying a one-stop medium to hard. So we'll have to watch out for that. Indeed, everyone's going to have to watch out for that in this Grand Prix. Meanwhile, though, here's Sebastian Vettel on soft tyres, indeed, making an overtake on Stoffel van Dorn. So Vettel, he's already made another pit stop and he's on a third set of soft tyres here, pushing as hard as he can because he's got to try and make up uh, the extra pit stop there down the inside of my teammate van Dorn. We now move on to the end of lap 17, onto lap 18. Hamilton there in the pit lane, then off from soft tyres onto hard. So I mentioned it already, but again, re to reiterate, really great to see the AI trying so many different strategies in this race. Hamilton with two sets of softs and then the hard. Vettel with a three stop with three sets of softs and a medium tyre I'm guessing. And then we're converting what is the box and a two stop to a bit of a more aggressive two stop with two sets of softs because we're going to sandwich the medium tyre in the middle here because we go even longer from lap 18 all the way to lap 24 indeed up into third place at the moment. So really stretching the medium to the point where Verstappen at the moment has already made his second and final pit stop and he comes blasting down the inside there with DRS on his final set of medium tyres and he's overtaken us but then straight to turn two we get a radio call you can maybe hear in the background there uh, uh, an issue for Verstappen so very very odd Verstappen has all the speed to overtake us and then straight away kind of funny enough as soon as he overtakes us looks like he has issues because on the same lap then we go around the outside as we enter sector three to try and re-overtake the Dutchman at this point I was quite confused uh, very very confused really at what on earth was going on with Verstappen because I, I didn't put up much of a fight uh, into turn one because I assumed he was going to be so so fast and that maybe he could uh, kind of drag me along with the DRS but then he slows down straight away so a bit of an odd one and kind of I wish I, I did put up a fight into turn one because he lost a bit of time there probably but we're into the pit lane then for our final pit stop and as I said onto a set of soft tyres we've done some great great work we've only got a finite amount of laps left and it's going to be enough for us to comfortably go onto a set of soft tyres and just push hard and also this entire time you may have seen throughout the video I've been strategically placing it into lead mixture when I need when I don't need the extra oomph in, in the engine power as now we come in the pit lane and ahead is Vettel battling one of the force India cars of Sergio Perez Perez on hard tires uh, Vettel on mediums and uh, Vettel greatly down the inside of turn one to make that overtake move but obviously Perez on hard uh, Vettel on more mediums at you know, they're there for the taking. So let's go. Let's get them. So we move on to lap 25 in towards sector three. Open the DRS flap as we climb up the hill. Where are we going to go? Uh, Perez down the inside, but we're going to go even to more to the inside of him. Lock off on the left front, but hit the apex nicely. 
and we're up into P6. And now up ahead, P5, Sebastian Vettel. We're going to close that gap pretty damn fast as we move up into Rich Mix. Then DRS wide open. And we can only open up Rich Mix this much because I saved fuel when I could. Remember that four-way scrap we had earlier on. I was in Lee Mixture in the corners and then bumping it up to standard in the straight. You know, playing it very, very strategically this entire race to make sure I have Rich Mix for the end of this Grand Prix. Because the more, because with this 2018 mod, the fuel burns a lot faster. So I've been putting it on purpose in Lee Mixture in the corners where, you know, I'm going to get a gain where I'm going to lose the least time, uh, you know, engine-wise. And then I'm bumping up into standard on the straights. And then when I want to make an overtake, I bump up to Rich Mix, just like we're about to do towards Sebastian Vettel now as we go on towards lap 28. DRS open as well. As now Sebastian Vettel looks like a sitting duck. Fade to the left, move to the right, shake and bake. And it's going to be a very easy pass on Vettel there. We're up into P5 at the Spanish Grand Prix in front of a home crowd, obviously, as we're driving as Fernando Alonso. So I'm sure the crowd would be going wild if it was real life at the moment there. And now we've got a lot of clean air ahead of us and a, lot, a bit, a lot of time to gain if we want to try and catch Verstappen. I don't think it's going to be possible. So we're just going to focus, I think, on trying to stay ahead of Vettel. I say that, though, Verstappen does have issues still, clearly, because we move on into this replay now through the last corner. This is Charles Leclerc, who's been lapped. He's going to unlap himself on Verstappen. And there we are in the background, and there's Vettel. So actually, I'm going to completely forget what I just said. I forgot the fact that Verstappen has had major issues. It looks like his issues got worse. He's going even slower now than he was earlier on when we over re overtook him. So now onto that 28, we have more hope actually. We can see Verstappen right there ahead of us. And there is Charles Leclerc. So let's go for it. Let's push hard. And we can get P4 in this Grand Prix actually there. So not all hope is lost there. And I guess that just shows in Formula 1, never give up because you never know. Or you could also forget that a car has issues. That's also another case of um, you know, it's something that could definitely happen when you have tunnel vision in the race. So here we go. Uh, squirming away, as you can see, I'm pushing so, so hard. I'm going to be too eager on the throttle there. Thankfully, I don't put it in the wall and we're able to close up once again. And you can see going a little bit more opposite lock because my tyre's starting to go off quite a bit. But at the same time, Verstappen is going so, so up the hill, almost pushing him up the hill there in the end of it. Open DRS. He's got DRS as well. So he's going to put up a fight into the brake zone there. He locks up. We're going to try the switchback move on him and Verstappen parks it on the apex. We're Goes side by side. Verstappen is definitely making this a lot harder than it needs to be. And fair play to him because he's still got trap position here. It's not like he's under blue flags. But eventually, on the outside, into sector three. Great little move there. And nice scrap. And we're up into P4. And that is going to be a fantastic finish if we can finish there. But I say if because uh, Sebastian Metal right behind us is going to also dispatch of Verstappen very quickly. And so we're going to have to also be wary of him because you saw there, whilst I was catching Verstappen, my tyres started to go off. My rear end was very very loose indeed so I need to watch out for that with three laps to go and we saw earlier Vettel has some monster traction out the final corner so gonna need to be wary of that but firstly we're gonna dispatch of his uh I guess younger uh mentee I guess you could say in a way Charles Leclerc in the Sauber Alfa Romeo there locks up down the inside very easily and he lets through Vettel as well as you would imagine and so that lost us a bit of time there and Vettel is in the mirrors there with the proximity error also popping up so as we go into sector three then just going as easy as we can we're also in Lee mixture again to save fuel when we can and then we're going to bump it up into standard and and or rich on the main straight uh, if we need to try and defend from Vettel which we do need to as we move on to lap 31 he's going to have the speed he'll have DRS we're into rich mix momentarily down to standard though because we can't afford to burn that much fuel because otherwise we're going to run out of fuel we're going to have to just go defensive to the inside into turn one we do so quite easily actually and we're you know also very harsh on him on the exit obviously we've, we've got no kind of you know we don't need to give him any more room than he needs and I feel like we gave him enough room there to try and make a move around the outside and so we defend successfully on him as we move now on towards lap 32 and again he's going to try it this time though he's had a much better run out in the final corner compared to the first attempt he just had a lap ago so he's going to be coming like an absolute stabbed rat there on the left hand side we've just got some rich mix to try and burn at the very end of this straight down to turn one but it contact was made the hand of anger is up but no contact then into turn one's apex there and it's clean and fair racing Vettel still trying it on the outside of turn three fair play to him tried to have a look there but ultimately just does not have the grip at the end of this Grand Prix to be making that try uh, making that kind of pass maybe possible on fresh tyres not on those warm mediums there as we move on now to a look at the race leader Daniel Ricciardo it is so we haven't seen the race lead this entire time it was Riken for a lot of this but Ricciardo has had some excellent speed and quite rightly then he's into first place and so Red Bull for the first time in 2018 in this career mode season are going to get a win under their belt it's going to be the Aussie man Daniel Ricciardo from Kimi Raikkonen and and then Lewis Hamilton in third place there. But uh, good stuff for the...
the Red Bull team, especially Ricardo, to finally get that. They've had some great momentum so far this season, but they just haven't, haven't been able to crack the back of that top of the podium step. Meanwhile, though, we're just uh, seeing this through, really, actually. Uh, uh, it's kind of, you know, very calm. It's not actually that uh, much of an issue in this final lap. Looks like Vettel's really fully backed off because his tyres have really gone off. Mine have gone off as well, but I think uh, he's uh, more so after he tried that final ditch attempt on the previous lap. So we go through the final few corners, and it's going to be a very nice, easy run, and it's going to be a very sweet run to the end of the line, the end of this Grand Prix, and to be fourth place at the Spanish Grand Prix. That has been a fantastic race in a, a thoroughly entertaining one. I think the, the, the best race we've had so far in this career mode season, actually. Really, really awesome stuff. Four wide action before. So many cars so close together. And that entire top kind of 7-8 pack was uh, really, really close for a lot of that Grand Prix there. And we've got another different race winner, of course, Santa Ricardo there. Great stuff for him popping the champagne, but great points for us. Although, with Ricardo winning and Verstappen, I think he still managed to get some points. I think Red Bull will finally, unfortunately, jump back up into third place of the constructors, I think. But let's take a look at the full results there. As I said, it's going to be Ricardo from uh, Kimi Raikkonen and Hamilton, then ourselves in fourth place, Vettel in fifth, then Verstappen still managed to be uh, P6 despite the major issues in this Grand Prix. So fair play to him. Perez with a brilliant one stop, as I said, and the Force Indians were doing P7, Magnussen P8, Brendan Hartley again doing the job for Toro Rosso against his teammate Pierre Gasly in P9, and my teammate Van Dorn in P10 for one measly point. But Brendan Hartley really impressing compared to what is really his faster teammate Pierre Gasly so far. He's not scored a point, whereas Brendan Hartley has got all the points of Toro Rosso this season but yeah great showing there for the Spanish Grand Prix and guys be sure to smash the like button if you did enjoy this episode finally now before we round out the episode the driver standings Vettel still in a commanding lead but look at that three drivers on 70 points Bottas Hamilton and Raikkonen all on 70 there we're just about ahead of Ricardo still on both Red Bull cars by one point there in P5 but what a great championship that is I mean if you if you minus Vettel what a close championship that is between the the kind of three guys there and I'm sure Vettel is due in his uh, amount of bad luck. So far, unsurpri uh, surpri very surprisingly, he's not had much bad luck, uh, unlike other career modes that I've done on this channel there. So fair play there, I guess you could say. And then finally, in the constructors, Ferrari ahead of Mercedes by quite a nice cushion, actually. And then you can see the big golf then to Red Bull, but Red Bull finally getting a win. I think this may be the real start of their 2018 season now. And unfortunately, I d I'm not too confident that we'll be able to keep maybe Red Bull at arm's length distance there at the moment as we are only 10 points behind there in P4. But we are in a good good lead compared to Haas, uh, Force India, uh, Toro Rosso, and really also Renault, as I mentioned in the episode. So, so unlucky. They've only scored five points, actually, so my bad. I said earlier they didn't score any points, so they've scored five, but uh, compared to the real-life season, you know, Renault, the, the AI in the game so far have had a lot of bad luck and a lot of bad strategies, but here's hoping they can kind of pull up their socks a little bit and try and make that midfield, uh, midfield fight a lot better in the next coming episodes. So, uh, once again, guys, if you did enjoy that episode, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you are new around here, do get subscribed for weekly Fall on content. I've been out, but I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.